Okay, hello everybody. This is Mike Hancho from the New Vegas Nexus, uh, the Mod Nexus, uh, author of the After School Special Mod, as well as the New Bison Steve Hotel and Lucky Casino Mod for Fallout New Vegas, uh, and the um, Helgen Reborn Mod for Skyrim. So I've recently uh, updated my After School Special Mod and Bison Steve Mod to the Sortomatic system for sorting all of your inventory and managing all of your gear. Um, thank you to uh, my users over the months and years who asked me to do that, and sorry it took so long, uh, but uh, finally, better late than never, I guess. Uh, so um, I'm really liking it. Um, I appreciate you suggesting that. So this video is really going to be for those who don't really have a lot of familiarity with the system. Um, I don't know everything there is to know about it myself. I'm just learning the basics myself. So, uh, but hopefully uh, this will help you pick up on some of the basics and how to use the system. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of resources out there in terms of tutorials or guides uh, to teach you how to use the Sword-O-Matic system in the game. I was a little bit lost myself. And it took me a while to uh, really understand how to use everything and how to set it all up and, and get it to working uh, at least to the point to where it's managing my inventory. Like I say, I don't uh, uh, claim to know everything about it. There's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm probably going to miss. So if I miss some really important features, uh, please feel free to post comments and uh, uh, give me some feedback. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is my After School Special mod. Um, it's uh, mod number 43757, or you could just go to the Nexus and, and do a search. And um, obviously go to my file section and download the mod. Um, I have just recently today, in fact, it is the February 20th, uploaded a new patch version, Sortomatic version 3, it's my main mod version 201, um, and the Sortomatic version is version 3. It's the third update. And you may say, well, you just uploaded version 2 on the 16th. Why are you uploading another version? Well, in the process of working out this video, I discovered that I failed to put the Sortomatic script on the desk in the school. Duh. So the desk was not included in the Sortomatic containers in this v2 patch so this is just a small patch if you're fine with the desk being by itself and not included in the sortomatic system you don't need the the version 3 patch but i did want to go ahead and, and get that uploaded um, so get the main file here download with manager or download manually and if you want the v3 patch go ahead and just download that and overwrite the master file that comes with uh, my main download here with uh, the uh, Sortomatic V3 patch. In addition to my mod, obviously you're going to need the Sortomatic system itself, and you will need version 1.3. That is the latest version of this mod, and it looks like the Nexus is laggy as hell again. What else is new? This has been going on for, what, since September 11th, 2011, so what, going on three years now. Uh, finally, thank you. So here's your Sortomatic v V13, and uh, again, download with manager or download manually. Uh, and the last thing you're going to need for this entire system to come together is the New Vegas Script Extender, or NVSE. Um, the address to that website is nvse.silverlock.org, or you can just type it straight into Google, and it comes up the first um, first link every time for me. So I'm using this beta version here, uh, 4.2b2. You can use the uh, non-beta version 2b12, but you definitely want one or the other of these most current newest versions. And with uh, NVSE, you will basically just download the file. I keep mine in a nice little folder because I am anal when it comes to backing up files. So I have my, my own nice little directory where I keep all of my NVSE versions 
there's the zip file extract it and inside you will find these five main files right here plus these readme's you do not need to put the readme files over into your game folder all you need are the uh, DLLs and the exe file um, so essentially all you do is copy and paste those into your fallout new vegas directory uh, for me that steam steam apps common fallout new vegas and uh, there are the files in vse loader.exe and these four also if you're using steam which with new vegas i pretty sure is non-optional you will definitely need the steam loader.dll also and so once you have those installed a um, couple of different ways that you can launch the game with nvse you can either through the mod manager go ahead and launch it go into fallout new vegas and there's a drop down up here that you can either use that's the vanilla launcher or launch with nvse i myself personally i don't like to have to load the nexus mod manager every time so i just have me a shortcut on my desktop to the nvse loader file that when i'm ready to play i just go click on that and it will launch my game so uh, that's pretty much the setup you'll need again my file and you'll need the sortomatic resource and you'll need nvse without any of those one of those missing obviously the system will not work so with that i'll uh, make a cut here and i'll meet you inside the game all right so we are in the schoolhouse now and um, a couple of things to start out with i want to uh, make you aware of you may experience this you may not uh, if you look at the desk over here there's no computer it's gone what happened to it uh, if you look over here in the kitchen we've got some clutter floating in the air some vodka and wine bottles and some food items uh, we've got a couple of new uh, cabinets over here by the sink um, but uh, why do we have that well I added some new cabinets I also added some clutter that's going to be along the counter here that uh, is not enabled and I changed my old computer the Sims computer sorting system to the Sortomatic computer uh, and the way the enable parentage in this game works sometimes if you add new items to an enable parent that is already enabled you have to basically refresh the cell uh, for those items to actually show up so if you have that if you come in here and you don't have any cabinets and you don't have any uh, computer here simply go outside and you should be able to turn right back around and go right back in and how about that new cabinets new clutter along the countertops here I added some new clutter over here on this side just to kind of fill it up a little bit and our new sortomatic system is in place you have the MSC master sorting computer and the IQM or inventory control manager these are the two main hubs of the system these will be the two components that you will be using uh, most likely most of the time um, pretty much that's your nuts and bolts this is where you tell the system what to do so how do we get started uh, I myself like to go ahead and sell all of my containers first um, the way this system is set up is that you assign items to go into the containers that you want those items to go into uh, there are a couple of ways you can do that you can either use what the system denotes as default destinations or simply by just putting those items in the container itself the system will remember that you put um, I don't know maybe a nine millimeter pistol in this locker here so the next time you go to the IQM to sort your items if you have a nine millimeter pistol it will remember that and will go in this locker um, I like to tell it what to do instead of just putting something in there I found for me it's more efficient that way it takes a little less time to set up but you can do it either way okay um, now if you look 
these lockers have stuff in them, okay? All kind of uh, weapons and stuff. Well, this is all of the stuff that I had uh, in these containers that uh, was from my sim system. So for me, what I like to do if I'm setting this system up, either if I've got stuff already in these containers or if I'm setting it up from scratch, I don't have anything in there. This is the first time I'm in the cell. My system is up and running and I got to set all of my default destinations of where I want all my stuff to go. I like to set my containers first. You may not like to. You might want to do all the stuff over here first that we're going to get into in a minute. Uh, this is just what I like to do. So what I'm going to do to begin with, and I'll uh, um, just kind of make a cut here and get past all of this, is I'm going to go in to all of my containers and empty them all out. Because I don't want the, the system to remember where I have stuff right now because I'm going to change all of that. Okay, so that's all of those. I'm going to go ahead and run around the school here, and I'll be right back in just a minute after I get all of the uh, other stuff out of the other containers. Okay, so I have uh, gone around and cleared out all these containers, and I have a full inventory, uh, all kind of apparel, all kind of aid, and useless crap that we can demonstrate this system with. So as I said... I like to go and set up my default destinations first. So how do we do that? Go up to any container, go into crouch mode or sneak mode and hit E and it'll open up a little menu, default destinations. Use this menu to assign DDs for different categories of items. DDs are used when sorting items which you have not set a home. So uh, this particular container, I'm gonna exit. Here's how I'm gonna set this up. Uh, this here, this is going to be light armor, medium armor, heavy armor, and power armor will go in that one container because I'm a light armor kind of guy, light or medium. I never use power armor. I always sell it. Uh, headgear, just because that's one of the default categories, makes it easier. And clothing will go here. Then I'm going to set all my rifles and pistols, my gun skill weapons. I'll get into that in a minute. We'll go here. Energy weapon skill weapons will go here. Uh, we'll set this one for melee and unarmed skill. And we'll set this one for explosives. And that gives us a couple of extra containers for just uh, however we want to do other stuff. So go ahead and set DD, apparel, light armor, back, back save and exit so that's set for light armor now so now anytime i go to the inventory control manager tell it to sort my gear all my light armor will go into that container next we'll do medium set dd apparel medium armor and if you notice each time i set a dd that particular uh, category is eliminated from the list that way that prevents you from setting two containers with the same category. Back, back, save and exit. So light armor, medium armor, heavy armor, set DD, apparel, power armor, heavy armor, back, back, save, headgear, set DD, Apparel, apparel rather, <laughs> headgear, back, back, exit. Weapons, set DD. Weapons by skill. Now you can choose weapons by perk. You got a lot of different perks here. You can put the weapons that are controlled by these perks in that category. Uh, don't really work that well for me. I like it by skill. Weapons by skill, guns. All right, see, so guns is gone. Back, back, exit. Energy weapons, skill, energy weapons, back, back, save and exit. 
Uh, melee and unarmed. And explosives. All right. And it is that quick to set those uh, default destinations for those particular items. Uh, the desk. And uh, if you do not have this script option on the desk, earlier in the uh, video, I talked about the new uh, version that I uploaded. So get that file if you want to use the desk with the Sortomatic system. Set DDs. This I like to put my magazines and skill books in. Just kind of makes sense they go in a desk. Back. Save and exit. All right. Safe. Money goes in the safe, right? Miscellaneous. Monies. Back back save and exit all right um all right refrigerator uh, i like to put food type items in the refrigerator so we'll go to aid anything basically that you want nice and cool right so sunset sarsaparilla nuka-cola water crafted aid i put with my kims uh, go ahead and put alcohol and food all right, and again, you can set this any way you want to. If you want to put food in this cabinet, you want to put um, alcohol items in this cupboard. If you want to put Nuka Colas in here and Sunset Sars Sunset Sarsaparilla in this one, and then maybe water in that one, you can set it up any way you want to. Okay, uh, this is just kind of how I do it. And just for purposes of demonstrating the system. Uh, first aid box, I'm going to put all of my chems and stuff. So set DD, aid, crafted aid, meds, and chems. All right, save and exit. Um, back here, I'm going to use this for ammo. Okay, so go to here. Set DD, ammo. This one, I want to put pistol rounds and rifle rounds. And again, that's just me. Save and exit. I'm going to go shotgun shells here. Energy weapon uh, ammo here. Then I'm going to use the bottom one for the explosive ammo and fuel. Save DDs. All right, now, while I'm back here, a couple of things about the crafting stations. The really, really cool thing about this system is that these crafting stations are set up as containers. So if I go into sneak mode, click on this container, and I can click on open storage and it opens up a container. Uh, the second really cool thing about it is that you don't really have to set a default destination for all of your uh, reloading items, any of your primers and your powders and your lead and your, your um, you know, shell casings and stuff. Uh, the system is automatically set to sort those into this container. The same with your workbench items. Any items that you can use to craft things at the workbench, the system is already set to sort those items into this workbench container. So that then all you have to do is go click on the container. It'll pull up all the items you have. You can craft whatever you want to, close it out, and you're done. It's really, really cool. It's one of the best features of, of this system. Uh, the same with your oven over here. So we don't have to set any of that. It's automatically pre-configured. It's the only thing in this system that I had pre-configured. All right. So now we've got most of our default destinations set. But as it is right now, the system will not do anything because it is basically set by default not to sort anything until you tell it what to sort. So 
we go over here to the inventory control manager this is where all you uh, configuration this is where you set the system to tell it what to sort and uh, what not to sort so we'll activate it now when you activate these things um, you'll get a little pop-up and if you look in your pit boy you got these little user manuals so automatic user manual and IQM inventory quota manager user manual um, they're somewhat helpful but unfortunately they they lack a lot in my opinion of actually practically how to use the system in the game I maybe I'm just an idiot and and didn't you know the light bulb didn't go off by reading these uh, it took me really hours to figure all this out on my own uh, but if they're helpful for you great hope they do they're actually pretty well written uh, they're they're written sort of like a, a brochure or you know or a manual a sales manual you might get from the company when you buy this system uh, but uh, not very practical in terms of teaching you how to use the system that's what this video hopefully will uh, hopefully will get you started on so as I said the IQM will not sort anything until you tell it to so let's open it up and take a look at that configuration all right this is where you set the system to sort your weapons and apparel your consumable weapons aid miscellaneous stuff ammo weapons mod this is where you tell it to sort right now if you click on weapons and apparel it says I will not remove any non-consumable weapons and I will not remove any apparel so if you click on that it will say I will now remove unequipped consumable weapons unless they match uh, supplied samples or unique weapons we're going to get into the supplied samples here in a minute and apparel click on that so now it says I will now remove unequipped apparel unless they match supplied samples or unique apparel so essentially it will not remove any unique apparel or the samples that you tell it not to remove that's what those are referring to is the samples that you have told the system not to remove under any circumstances so that's set up good we'll go back uh, consumable weapons aid miscellaneous and so forth right now it says I will not remove consumable weapons will not remove aid uh, or miss or ammo so click on them now it will remove remove aid remove miscellaneous and remove ammo so now I will remove all of these things go back weapons mods skill books etc tell it to remove tell it to remove tell it to remove all right let's go back uh, and then save and exit so now pretty much we have told it to remove almost everything out of our inventory so how do we tell it to sort so when you come in from the field you click on the IQM and click process inventory now and when you do that your master sorting computer will open up and what the master sorting computer is is a container that essentially let's just say you came in and dumped all your stuff on the floor and then some little underpants gnomes came in while you were gone and put it in all these containers that's essentially what the the MSC is it's one big container that all of the stuff that we just told it to sort goes into and then magically the system because you've set destinations for the stuff that goes into this computer first then it goes to your de default destination location um, so there's all the stuff is sorting hit exit and boom it's gone so if we go back over here click on this locker we told it to put all of the light armor in this locker so you can see all of the light armor is in here now we told medium armor to go here so now you got medium armor and heavy armor here and power armor which I don't have any I don't think uh, do have some metal armor okay I do not know why this medium arm armor item is going in unless it was maybe saved in the memory from my sim system but if that happens if something goes in the wrong place it's very simple take it out exit and I want it to go in my medium armor open it up put it in there 
and there it is exit and now the system will remember that this is where that particular item goes uh, guns okay here's all our guns energy weapons uh, we did melee here right melee and unarmed and explosives and we told it to put our skill books in here magazines there are all of those money okay um, and then we told food stuff here nuka colas and all of that kind of stuff all right do have one thing here I want to get my canteen out I don't want it to sort that and I'm gonna show you next how to tell it not to sort certain things all right let's go look back here at our ammo should have pistol rounds rifle rounds here now again I don't want it to sort some of these so I'm gonna remove those shotgun shells and want to keep all my 12 gauge stuff uh, should be energy ammo energy weapon ammo and it should be explosive type ammo some of these I want to keep as well for my awesome boom boom grenade launcher if you like grenade launchers go check out my boom boom mod it's a cool grenade launcher all right uh, reloading bench I just want to show you this open up this container go into crouch mode open storage and you'll see all of our cases and primers and powders and lead all of the stuff we need to make ammo is sorted into our nifty little reloading bench okay We'll get into a couple other specifics on the crafting here in a minute. But right now, I'm going to teach you how to tell the system not to uh, sort certain items. All right. So, open up the, uh, the IQM. And to tell it what you don't want it to sort, you will go to quota levels and samples. And weapon and armor samples one of your options consumables always to keep uh, I find that this is probably the one that I use the most is consumables always to keep uh, consumable quota levels uh, you can actually go in and tell it if you want to keep 10 stem packs tell it to keep 10 stem packs and put all the other stem packs wherever your default destination for your stem packs is um, so I'm gonna keep it simple though Consumables always to keep. All right. All right. These are the items that I have. All of this ammo here uh, fit my current loadout of weapons. Um, so I'm not using any 9mm, 5mm, uh, 308s. Uh, I'm using a 10mm, 12 gauge. Uh, my grenade launcher is 40mm and a 556. So just one at a time, I'll tell it to keep each of these and again some of this stuff takes a little bit of time but the cool thing is once you set it up it is so quick you come in and it's literally two clicks and your gear is stored you can hit the bed rest for eight hours and you're back out in the field it's uh, it's really good Plus, the really good thing about it is it doesn't take all of your gear like my old system did. Uh, there was no options to tell it not to take stuff. Uh, so you're constantly having to sort and then go back and get the stuff you wanted to take back out with you. So in that respect, this is freaking awesome. So now we've just told it not to take any of that armor. So I'm going to go in this locker and get my grenades and then sort process inventory now and you can see that all I have processed at this particular time are my grenades in this canteen which I don't want it to take so now it'll just sort my grenades you see all of my ammo that I just told it not to sort is still over here in my inventory here's everything that's being sorted into the MSC which will in turn when I close the MSC go into its DD container so hit exit and boom there's all my grenade stuff 
Okay, so there's a couple of other items that I don't want it to take. Uh, so consumables always to keep. I do not want it to take my canteen. And I got a bedroll floating around here somewhere. I got to figure out where that went to. Uh, if you ever lose something, I'm going to show you something here. If you ever lose something, um, if you go to the master sorting computer and hit retrieve from shelf, uh, shelf stock and then everything, or you could select just aid or just apparel or just miscellaneous. My bedroll is actually uh, should be under miscellaneous. It'll pull up all of the miscellaneous items in any of my containers, and there's my bedroll. So I could take that, exit, go back to the IQM, and tell it don't take my bedroll again. Okay, so we go to bedroll. So now, and it, it, the cool thing about it too, it keeps you a running list of the things you've told it not to take. So here's all my ammo I've told it not to take, and my bedroll, and my canteen. All right, stem packs. Um, by default, stem packs will go into, I believe, the um, the workbench back here. But I believe we told them to go into here, right? Um, nope, they're still going to the workbench. Uh, so, go back here. Open my storage. Get all my stem packs. I don't want them to go back here. I want my stem packs to go in here so I'll put my stem packs in there and let's just say 20 of them and we'll keep some all right so I go back to the IQM process inventory and now I've got those six stem packs exit and they should be in here now so 26 okay but I don't want it to take any of my stem packs so I'll go Quota levels of samples, consumables to keep, stem packs. So now here's all of the items that no matter what I do, whenever I come in and sort, these will always remain in my inventory. All right. Now, we've got this other container up here, this homeless container. Let's see what's inside of it. All of these items that go in the homeless container or that have been sorted into the homeless container are items that we have not set a default destination up for um, they, so they don't have a home. So let's go ahead and take these out and I'll show you how to fix that. Um, I like to use this trash can right here for these like worthless clutter items or really like one cap items baseballs and that kind of stuff so it takes a little bit of time but if you put all of those worthless items into wherever you want them to go the system will remember and the next time you come in if you have an abraxo cleaner it will sort your abraxo cleaner into this container Don't have ended up with 16 paint guns. All right. So now I'm going to get a couple of these Abraxo cleaners. So there's nine in there now, and I've got how many? Four? Four, okay. All right, so now go back to the inventory control manager, process inventory, and I've got four, uh, four Abraxo cleaners. And they should be in here now. So there's all of them. So that's pretty much uh, the sorting system itself. Let's go and talk about the crafting system. The crafting system is really cool because you've got options. If you go into crouch mode, click on your activator here, go into crafting options, 
and ingredient options. Now, I just took the stem packs out of this particular container and put it into my Kim's uh, first aid box over there. Well, what happens if I want to craft something that requires stem packs, like a super stem pack or whatever? You can set this system up to look for all containers in the system and any item that is in any container that can be used to craft something at this workbench will come up in your menu regardless of where it's at. Um, so I always set this to all containers, back, and exit. So now no matter where I put anything, if I want to craft something, it will come up in the menu. So crafting options, ingredient options, all containers. So the ingredient search, it will search all containers for any ingredients that can be used at this crafting station and pull them up in your menu. All right, and do the same thing with your oven. And that's uh, pretty much it. Let's see what else we got in the homeless container here. All right, still have a few other items here. Let's kind of work through those. Uh, we never set up clothing, did we? That's the problem here. So DD, uh, apparel, clothing. All right, and those BBs and stuff, I just want to put over here. That's under ammo. So BBs. Camera film, it's just worthless crap. And I want to tell it, do not take those grenades. And that was the plasma grenades, I believe. Gun runners. Alright, so now it won't take those. And let me resort. Bobby pins. And again, you, you have to kind of might have to go through it a few times to you to get it set up to all the stuff that you do not want it to sort. So I don't want it to take my bobby pins. So process inventory again. Um, and uh, nanobot, I don't have anything set up um, for the Project Nevada stuff anywhere for it to go. Uh, so I'm just going to take keep that and I'll just put it in this safe right here for now and the only items I still have in my inventory at this point um, are unique weapons okay which by default they're set up not to take just my apparel that I have equipped Stem packs, which I told it not to take, and my canteen. And then all the miscellaneous items, my bedroll and my bobby pins. Um, everything else is just all other quest items that you can't get rid of anyway. So that's kind of a, a run through, a walk through really of uh, how the system works. Again, I haven't touched on everything. I know there's a ton of stuff that I have not touched on. Uh, if I miss something really, really important that's not just on a basic beginner level that I'm going through here, um, please let me know. And if you know how to use a lot of these more advanced features, please, by all means, uh, go to my mod, After School Special, post in my comments so we can maybe get uh, maybe uh, some more guides and stuff going on this because, unfortunately, as great as this system is, there are not a lot of resources out there uh, in terms of teaching you how to use it. I would be remiss uh, if I did not take one moment to thank uh, Gribble Snibbit 8, uh, who uh, worked with, uh, I believe, worked with Tuna as a Fish in uh, creating the original mod, um, but um, has also taken the torch. Uh, I guess evidently Tuna has other commitments and it's not really around that much, but uh, Gribble Snibbit 8 has really taken the torch and um, 
kind of carried the banner of moving the mod forward. So I appreciate your help and everything that you helped me with, uh, getting everything set up in my uh, school and um, Bison Steve mod converted. So hats off to you. Thanks a bunch, guys. If you need anything, please don't forget to post. Take care.